So this is what the headband looks like and I think it looks super cute and it matches me perfectly so I love it. So today I'm going to do like a peachy coral look just to tie in all the vibes especially with the blush palette. So let's go ahead and get started with the skincare. So it actually in the box this month we had gotten a face wash from Glam Glow. It is their gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser. And I have been using this for a week and I really love this. It's so good. And this alone is $28. So you can't beat that. And for it to be Glam Glow, like you can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna take one of the new products I had gotten from 4th Ray Beauty. It's the watermelon face milk and it smells delicious. It smells like watermelon. And this is what the little dropper looks like. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some onto my face. My skin has been feeling a little dry today, so this is gonna come in hand. And they say that this is perfect for under your makeup. And as you guys can tell, I have um, broken out a little bit. That's why I wanted to look into all these new products from 43 Beauty and i heard so many good things about them so that's why i wanted to give them a try and they're affordable like they have so much stuff that's on their site especially these cute little headbands like they're so freaking cute it feels tacky so it is gonna be good for under the skin it's not super sticky but it has a really good tackiness i don't know if you can tell but it did give me a glow so i love that and I had also gotten the 4th Ray Beauty Good Mood Gel Moisturizer. And this smells like watermelon too. So when you open it, it looks like this. So I love this um, moisturizer. I used it earlier in the day and it felt so good on my skin. Look at my skin. It is super glowy and it looks really hydrated. I love these two products so far. Make sure you look into them because they're really affordable and the way that they make my skin feel and look right now, oh my gosh, look at that. It's definitely good. This, the face milk is gonna be a really good primer for under my skin. So this might just become my everyday holy grail if this really works for me so we'll see i'll keep you guys updated on that so just remind me okay i just went ahead and flipped the camera around um because i feel like the angle was off when i was um, doing my intro um if you guys don't know i do film on my iphone i'm sorry if the quality comes out crappy but i'm gonna try my best to make it go into um hd when i upload it but yeah let me know if it, how it looks for you guys i will be getting a camera soon but in the meantime, this is what I'm working with. So as you guys can tell, I do have some redness going on right here in my cheeks and right here. And I have a little bit of under eye bag. So we're going to go ahead and correct those. And I've recently been loving the Pixie by Petra um, Brightening Peach correct Corrector. Sorry. But I'm just going to go ahead and pick it up on this um, Beauty Mark Makeup Academy brush. I got this in a set when I went to the Mitchell Masterclass, they had given it to us and I kept a couple of the brushes because they're still really good. So I'm just gonna use this to, you see that? The redness is completely gone. You can tell there's a difference between this eye and this eye with this corrector, so. If you guys want to check it out, you won't be disappointed. So I usually just take my beauty blender and just press it all into my skin and just to make sure there's like no creasing under my eyes happening. 
Okay, so now for foundation. I've been loving the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation. This, the way that this looks on the skin is so beautiful. But the only thing that I don't like about it is the undertones of the foundations. I feel like it looks really good like right now, but I feel like sometimes it turns pink. So I don't know what's up with their foundations, but the formula is awesome. It's beautiful. But just the undertones of them, I just feel like they need to work on that and get it a little bit better because I love it but it's all right it's super affordable so you can't really go wrong and it's super full coverage <laughs> but it doesn't feel heavy at all on your skin which i like oh and i recently hit 100 subscribers i'm so happy i never thought i would even make it to 50 to be honest i thought you know People will just not really watch me and not really care. But I'm really happy that I reached 100. So I will be doing a giveaway up on my Instagram channel. My Instagram channel. Wow. I'll be doing a, a giveaway on my Instagram. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel because that's going to be one of the rules. Subscribe to my channel and comment below how you found me I want I really want to know how you found me and what you love about my channel and just go ahead and check back on my Instagram to see who had won and make sure you leave your Instagram handle at the bottom too but I don't know when that will be up um, I'm still working on a few items but um, if you got you guys can go ahead and start entering now and just keep updated with my instagram and see when i will be posting that giveaway and i recently picked up jeffree star's concealer and his setting powder and the concealer i have is in c8 and i really like his concealer it's not super full coverage but it it does have coverage to it um it just really depends on how much coverage i'm going for on um, that, that specific day gonna go ahead and do my teasel now but as you can see like that was enough coverage for me so honestly it just depends on who you ask and how much coverage you like but for me on certain days it's way more than enough coverage if you can tell already so this is what his powder looks like when you open it i really love this little um sifter idea where where if you don't want the powder anymore you close it and the only powder that comes out is the powder that's there that way every time you open it a bunch of powders and shoot back up at you so i'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes Now that my face is set in place, I'm looking a little white, so I'm going to add some more dimension back to my face, especially since my lips are halfway covered foundation and there's nothing on my eyelids, so I'm looking pretty weird right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take my Benefit Bronze Cheek Glitters Palette, and this has become such an everyday holy grail for me, especially because I have Hula and I have this highlight cookie. Ever since Jacqueline Hill talked about it in one of her um, favorite videos, she had talked about like the mini version where it was basically like this whole row in it, but not the camera that came with the hula. But I didn't want that one, I wanted like the full one. So that's what I got, and I love it. This highlight blinding from my favorite like um, contour bronzing brush is the Morphe and Jacqueline Hill JH05 brush. This brush is and every day for me, no matter if I'm bronzing, contouring, it's just my favorite brush ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Hula. I'm gonna add a little bit of caramel.
I don't want my foundation looking white on camera. It doesn't look like that in person, I promise you. But for some reason, it's making me look extra white. I don't know. It looks a little bit weird on camera. Okay, I'm back. I did my brows off the camera and I feel like my face looks so much better than what it was looking like five minutes ago. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the blush part. The Alamar um, Blush Trio. And I got the one for medium to tan skin tones. It does come with the mirror. So these are the shades. They are so beautiful. They're like the perfect colors for summer right now. And seclusion and um, Isla have been like my favorite. So I'm just going to go ahead and take seclusion. And if I want to add a little bit of Isla, then I can. So I'm going to take it on my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06 blush. This is my favorite blush brush ever. It's so good. Just my handle's a little bit loose, but that's okay. just a pretty color and there is a little bit of a glow to them there's no like shimmer in them but they do have a little bit of dewiness to them and you can tell the difference between blush no blush so it's just really beautiful it's gonna be perfect for the summertime i love it already and i'm gonna add just a little bit of isla in there and give it a little bit more brightness to the peach usually I just take it all right here give my nose a little bit of that sunburnt look even though it's nighttime and we ain't going out <laughs> Oh well. So now from a highlight, I did get a new highlight. It's from ColourPop. It's their Flexitarian Highlight. I've never had one of these um, type of shadows before in this type of packaging. So I'm very, I already tried it, but I'm just very curious on how they get the formula because the way that this feels, I can't really describe it. It's, it's just amazing. And look at that it's super blinding and i've tried it um once before and i loved it and it felt wet on my skin if that's a little bit weird but it felt like i was putting like a liquid highlighter on so i'm just gonna take another one of these brushes from my beauty mark makeup academy brush sets um i don't know what set this is called but this is like my favorite highlighting brush just so, just because it's like a blending brush but it's precise i'm gonna take the highlight just swirl it I don't know, I think that might be a little bit too much, but... So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Jeffree powder and bake underneath my contour a little bit. I'm gonna spray my face with the Anastasia Dewy Set Spray. I've been taking my sponge and before it fully dries, I press in that spray. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna create like a little peachy look. I did get um, the Ciate Eye Luster Look Good Eyeshadow in my box. This is in the shade Cupid, I believe. And I've watched other people's boxy charms, and they had gotten this one, but it's not purple. It doesn't come off purple. It's more of like that glitter, um, gold glitter reflect in it. And they say that when you put like a purple um, shadow underneath, it makes it more purple. But you can tell that purple's in there. So I'm not going to just drag it all over my eyelid because I don't want it too purple. I'm just going to tap it onto my eyelid and see how it goes from there because I just mainly only want the gold to show up. For the palettes, I'm stuck between two. 
three actually. I don't know if you guys had heard of Bombshell Cosmetica before, but I used to read about them before and I do love their products, they're amazing. The shadows are really good quality and I'm stuck between the Sour Blast eyeshadow palette and the Hubba Bubba one just because it has more of these peachy tones in them like this one like those sorry and then this one is way more colorful this is a sour blast and i was gonna use this one and this one to deepen up the crease and then i'll just show you guys them side by side this is the hubba bubba i was gonna use the top row three orangey ones to create the look so we'll see how this goes i'm not gonna use too many shadows just because I don't want this look to be super dramatic. Um, I just want it to be, you know, a little bit more free and everywhere, not too precise. So to prime my lids, this is the only eyeshadow primer that I use. This one is my everyday, it's the Urban Decay Eden eyeshadow primer, waterproof. I love it, I use it on my clients, myself. Of course my clients have a separate one, but this one I will just always go to and always recommend to you guys if you're looking for a good one. And then I'm going to take my Jabinesque um, brush. It doesn't really have a name on it, but it's this one. I got it at Ulta. I like it because it's slanted and it really um, blends out my eyeshadow primer. As you can tell, it covers up my discoloration in my eye and that base is gonna be perfect for these colors that I'm about to put on right now. Take in Peaches as my first transition shade and I'm going to use the Makeup Shack T58 brush. So I'm going to take this color right here into my crease. And I'm not gonna use my Mutual Techniques just because I want this to be a little bit more free. I mean, it is pretty pigmented on its own, so I don't really have to pack it too much. But I just really want this to show up underneath all my other colors. And I'm just going to lightly blend it upward just a little bit on the edges. That way there's no harsh line right there. So I really love how this is looking. I'm going to take my Morphe M433 brush. It looks like this and I'm going to dip into the color orange from the same palette as well. And I'm going to put it right here underneath. Okay, now I'm going to take the Sour Blast palette from Bombshell Cosmetica and I'm going to take the shade Melon. And I'm going to take Cavity from that um, Sour Blast palette. I'm going to take um, the Anna palette because I really need something for dimension in the outer corner and both of those palettes don't have that for me. I'm going to mix this one and this one together. I'm going to take the Makeup Shack T14 brush. I'm gonna go back in with that Morphe M433 brush with the shade Cavity. I might just switch my brush again to the Bedellium Tool 776 brush. 
I just don't know if it's the eyeshadow or the brush that's not picking it up, but I feel like it needs to be a little bit darker. I'm going to take the shade Tarte from um, the Hubba Bubba palette and put it right here. The shimmers do have to be one of my favorite things about the Bombshell palettes because they're super reflective and you can tell it has like glitter particles in them. They do have fallout so just be careful. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to use this Jante Blue Dark Brown Eyeliner. And then I'm going to take that mini blending brush and take Cavity. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take Frosty from the hub no from the sour blast eyeshadow palette and i'm going to take the Bedalian tool 780 and frosty is super super reflective like they know what they're doing with their um shimmer shadows for sure so then now we're going to go on to this so i hope it doesn't ruin the look because i really love how it's looking right now so I'm just going to add just a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to use the same one I used for my lid. And that's the Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. And I'm going to dip into Tarte first. Just a little bit. And then dip into the shadow. So one of my favorite lash brides is um, Devious Lashes. I talked about them in my last video. And this is another one of the pairs. This is like literally my everyday pair. So if they look a little worn, that's why. This is a fresh pair. They're called um, CBEV. I'm going to take it out the package just because it's metallic and I don't want it to ruin the lashes so yeah look they're really beautiful i love them they're super fluffy super full and you won't be disappointed because these are like my favorites now this is my everyday pair <laughs> so you can tell a difference between a fresh pair and my pair i was going to take my favorite lash glue which is the duo um clear one I'm going to quickly coat my lashes just a little bit with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And there they are in all its glory, like no lashes, lashes. They're so beautiful and my favorite thing about them is that they look like your natural lash they might look like a little bit more fuller but they literally look up like your own lashes so the last items in my boxy charm are lip products and i have the steve laurent lip gloss in the shade posh and i also have this lip liner um it's vintage by jessica and it's in the shade um, Mocha. It's her cashmere lip pencil. So this is a lip gloss by Steve Laurent and it's beautiful. And this is a little swatch of the lip liner. And the lip gloss is super opaque too. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch. Like that's a one swatch. So they go perfectly together. And I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips really quick.
I'm just going to take the lip gloss now. And here's the finished look. What do you guys think? I hope you love it. I just love how I'm so like perfectly matched with everything. Like this look couldn't have came out any better. Um, I just love everything from BoxyCharm. Like they always kill it. And next month for June, I actually upgraded to the Boxy look. So just wait for that because that's gonna be a crazy ass freaking haul on that one so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any video suggestions also comment that down below don't forget to check out my instagram at misfit anyway for my little giveaway that i will be having since i reached 100 subscribers thank you guys so much for joining me on this little journey if you guys want to see more please stay tuned um i'm trying to be a little bit more active on instagram but I'm back now and it feels so good. Um, good things are happening. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.